There's one just surfaced over there. I'm just taking bugs off the top. There's another. There's about three in there. Yeah, there's one. Got some bear poop here. Looks like they've been eating berries. Maybe some elk in here, some elk hair. Maybe got some leftovers from a lion kill or something. So the bears get the elk? They count on the lions to get them. The black bears around here are too small to take down an elk. We have either some fox or some coyote here. Looks like they've been eating some berries. The difference between bear and coyote and fox is bears a lot darker and canine, they're a little bit lighter. Mountain lion track. You could tell the difference between a mountain lion and a dog. Dogs are a lot smaller and a lot more narrower. But the rear pad's always bigger. And look at those paws. And, just, and no claws. The only time they come out is for climbing trees or for killing prey. Uh. Uh. <sighs> Done. Woo! <laughs> Welcome. This is a camping, catch, and cook overnight fishing trip. You're probably wondering who these young men are that have come along with me. Uh, I'm Dalton Pena. Me and David actually met through watching one of his videos and we've been trying to plan something and now we're here. The best part of today was the end of the hike. <laughs> <laughs> you stole my line. Yeah, the, this, <laughs> is, this is my first hike ever. You were packing 61 pounds. So for 60. first trip, you did good. eight miles. <laughs> <laughs> that much weight, but as you can see, they're fly fishermen, and they brought in the gear. They oh, did yeah. not skimp at <laughs> all. <laughs> uh, I'm Sheldon. Uh, I met David through through Dahl Inn, and uh, he told me he was going on a fly fishing trip, and I wanted to go. And so here I am. It's my first time. Dalton's gonna uh, give me some pointers and teach me today. I'm a big time hunter. Big time hunter. I just, I'm not do, new to backpacking. He so. carried 70 pounds in, <laughs> and that's 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 pretty moderate for us hunter. The heaviest I've gone is 90 pounds, and on a 46 mile hike. But yeah, today the best part was looking for sheds, and then now I get to fly fish. These guys are going to do a two night, three day trip, and then I'm going to stay, and I'm going to make this into an eight night, nine day adventure. And we are so happy to have you come along with us. What are you looking forward to tomorrow? I'm hoping to hook up with a big brown. Okay. Sheldon? I'm looking for a good night's rest tonight. <laughs> and I would love to catch, it doesn't have to be a big brown. I'd love just to catch a fish and, you know, get the hang of fly fishing. But a big fish would be a bonus. Especially if it's bigger than Dolan's. <laughs> you heard about the one-armed fisherman, didn't you? Uh -uh. He caught one this big. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely know how to make a big fire. And that's a hell of a fire ring. I can't wait to test these hammocks and see what they're all about. If you don't like your hammock, I'll buy yours from yours half price. <laughs> <laughs> you got the top of the line hammock. Gracie said she right was completely got... done. She came out and ate. 
right after she got her treat, she went boom in the tent. She's like, hey guys, for being 91 years old in dog years, you got everything out of me you could get. That's gonna be it for us this evening. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good morning, it's the beginning of day number two. How was the night? I slept good. Didn't want to get out of my nice warm cocoon this morning. I made it through, maybe woke up twice, but I'm a little sore from yesterday's hike. I'm hoping to catch a big old brown. <laughs> hoping. <laughs> but don't hold me to it. <laughs> I, I know what's down here, and I'm hoping to hook into one of those. Okay, we're on our way. from fishing the fishing absolutely sucked you saw one fish yeah I saw one fish there's nothing to catch so there's no point staying it's been good having you guys thank, thank you, David. you David thank you, you so much I appreciate it thanks <laughs> you we'll bet you man. okay say See goodbye you guys bye this is the end of day number two good night good morning the beginning of the third day cold last night i bet it got down to around 28 29 degrees blue blue sky today not a cloud in the sky it's gorgeous i wanted to give a shout out to dalton and sheldon for coming with me for the first couple days leaving some summer sausage for me which was awfully kind i got my coffee this is going to be my breakfast this morning That's a treat. Gracie thinks she should have some. My plan for today is to hike up the creek, find a new camp, and see if I can dispel this curse of not being able to catch a fish on this creek. More than a glimmer of hope. Right here, as I was hiking along the trail, I saw about a 17-incher, and it saw me, and it darted into the dark of the water. This is going to be Grace and I's Wilderness Camp number two. Backcountry camp is all set up. Now it's time for dinner. These are the provisions that Gracie and I have. She's got her treats, all her wet food, and then her dry food. Biscuits and gravy and strawberries and granola. Blueberries and granola. And I took half of one of these and got that there. Summer sausage, chicken and dumplings with Mountain House. That's excellent. Chicken fried rice by Mountain House. I didn't like that. If I don't catch any fish, I, I will eat that. Then I got spaghetti, all my snacks, I got cliff bars and some licorice and 
some nuts. If I do catch fish, I'm gonna puddle fry them. I got uh, avocado oil and ghee, and I'll eat them with mashed potatoes, and I got my dredges for the fish. I got some bacon jerky, and I got my lemonade and propel drinks. This is an incredible camp. It's got these seats. Got this one here that's awesome. And this is really nice. You can put your gear on and you don't have to bend your knees. The trail does go right through here though. So we are on the trail. And there's no avoiding that because there's really no other place to pitch a tent. But this fire pit's incredible. Somebody's been here recently because uh, it looks like a pretty recent cigar. I was gonna go fishing today but by the time I got my camp all set up and everything arranged, being in this canyon, we ran out of daylight. It's Gracie's bedtime. Let me get you cleaned off. It's all this needles from the forest in there and they pop my sleeping pad. So I gotta clean her off. There she is, just a good girl. Gracie and I got a great hike in, found an excellent camping spot right next to the gorgeous creek here. I'm so looking forward to fishing it tomorrow and having a catch and cook fish dinner. So with that said, good night. Good morning. Today's the beginning of day number four. Today I'm going to catch a fish and cook it and eat it all while enjoying this beautiful mountain forest. Panther Martin. The brown trout and Panther Martin I was talking about. Since I've been trout fishing, that was the biggest trout that I've caught out of a tiny creek like this. I'll be eating on this fish for two meals. It is so big. I'm gonna get back to camp and cook it up. What a gorgeous filet. Pink is, oh, it's almost like red. Just cut open the stomach. Crayfish, that's what it's been eating. It's stuffed full. I've taken one filet, cut it into four pieces. I'm gonna have it in four different dredges. This piece of the filet is gonna be in flour, panko breadcrumbs, base seasoning, paprika, salt, pepper, and zatarans blackening. This fourth of the filet will be in zatarans blackening only. And the last section of the filet is gonna be in something new that I've never even tried before. In with the avocado oil this time. And this is clarified butter, also known as ghee, G-H-E-E. -E. First one to go in is the Louisiana New Orleans style fish fry. And when it floats, it means it's done. There it is, you can actually see the brown trout markings on it. That is Louisiana style for sure, that look. So the next piece of fish is in the flour base seasoning, paprika, salt, and pepper. Gorgeous. Wow, look at that. <laughs> that is one big piece of meat. Let's taste this. Mmm. That's really good. One that's cooking right now, is flour, panko, base seasoning, paprika, salt and pepper, and zatarans blackened seasoning. When it's done, that is one beautiful piece of meat. Yeah, it's gonna be delicious. Mm. Uh, it is really good. I like it better than the other two so far. And it's better with the skin on it. Mmm. Wow. The last piece is the one with the zatarans blackened seasoning on it. Look at that, oh my gosh, look how beautiful that is. Hmm, I thought I would like the blackening one best, but I actually like the one before. It surprises me. 
I didn't do a taste test of the Louisiana New Orleans style fish fry. Uh, it was the least favorite of the four. Beautiful brown, probably about a pound and a half. Got it on a Panther Martin. God, that's a beauty. Look how beautiful those colors are. I ended up catching two browns. Normally I would say two fish in one day. That's not so good, but I'm gonna say I had an awesome day of fishing. So with that said, good night. morning. It's the beginning of the fifth day. What I have on the agenda for today is to finish cooking up the fish and then we're going to pack up, go upstream, find a new camp. There's the filet. Look how beautiful that is. That is yummy. Nice, fat, thick piece of meat. It reminds me of a salmon steak. Flour, base seasoning, paprika, salt and pepper on that one. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Look how golden brown that is. I like the other one better. Still delicious. All ready to start exploring in the woods today. today. Good night. Good morning. Today's the beginning of day number six. Gracie and I have been going solo for the last four days and we haven't heard or seen anybody during that time. Today's plan is to do some fishing, catch and cook, perhaps have a fish on the campfire this time. I wouldn't have dared had it yesterday. 50, 60 miles an hour, if I'd have started a campfire, I'd probably burn down this forest. So we're gonna see if I can best my personal best and catch a bigger fish than I did the other day. quite deep, between 16 and 20 feet deep right there. Got to be a big brown in here. Got a broken back brown trout, Rapala. It'll float, but then it'll dive. Nothing. Kind of damn thing I've ever seen. Beautiful. Absolutely perfect fishing water. Nothing.
my last cast. I saw five fish. I had three strikes. Pretty nice browns. Nothing bigger than what I already caught though. When that sun goes behind the mountain, it gets cold. <laughs> wow. Gloves, hat, gator. Yeah. Whew. Gracie's already eaten. I've eaten and she's gone in the tent. Speaking of eating, I didn't eat fish. Uh, a little disappointed. I had three of them come after my lure, just about take it and didn't get them. With that said, I'm gonna say good night. Welcome to day number seven. Today we're gonna explore more on this canyon creek, find a new camping spot, do some more fishing, and hopefully do some more catching and cooking. Gracie's hurting. Her front left leg. She's done this before. She got out of the car and whacked it on the rocker panel. And never been the same since, and that was about a year and a half ago. Sorry to say, maybe her last trip. Because she's getting old. She's not healing up. What an excellent girl you are. up on this lizard on a rock it hasn't budged it's like hey this is my rock and I'm not moving Big boy. Okay, he's got to be 30 inches long. Oh, crazy. That looks like a perfect spot for the tent. You picked it perfectly. Right here is where that 30 incher is. You can see a lone pine tree right on that rock, closest to the water. Little tiny one. I gotta get up beyond there and pull a spinner through there. Gave it a try. Gave it, I used the Jake spinner. It just jumped before I got there. And I knew where he was and I got beyond him and pulled it. But I must have startled him. my last cast for the day. Caught nothing. No strikes even. I'll try for that big one tomorrow. No fish to cook so I'm gonna have to have biscuits and gravy from Mountain House. It's really good. Tastes like biscuits and gravy. Gracie, do you want to say good night to everybody? All alone, again, all day long. Didn't hear anybody. We had a great hike, beautiful forest, beautiful mountains. This creek is just gorgeous in this canyon. Saw a great big fish, tried to catch it, but I didn't get it. Darn it. But tomorrow's another day. So, good night.
Good morning, it's the beginning of day number eight. One thing that I haven't been doing enough of on this trip is eating fish. So I've got to change that today. I'm going after the big fish in this hole down here. I'm using a double renegade fly. I've got a strike indicator and a small sinker below it so I can get some weight to be able to cast it out and get it where I want. And I'm approaching it from the top side this time. Hopefully the current will take this fly down. Nothing. back from fishing. I saw two fish. It's the same fish that I saw yesterday. The 30 incher and then like the 20 incher. And I tried this morning and this afternoon to get them and I didn't get them. And then I went up and I went down. I didn't see anything. Had no strikes. Bummer. Can't beat the creek. It's gorgeous. It just needs some more fish in it. Good thing I brought Mountain House. That's what I'm having for dinner. A really great eventful thing happened today. I saw a rattlesnake. That was exciting. The fishing was excellent. The catching was absolutely horrible. You've heard me say that before, but it's true. Nine days and two fish. That's not good. Well, that's it for today. Good night. Good morning. It's the beginning of day number nine. This is our last day. Pretty uneventful evening, 40 degrees in the tent. This was my favorite camp as far as the forest blocking the wind. We were further away from the trail, not as isolated as the other two campsites, but it was a very nice one. So we are on our way back to the trailhead. I just wanted to share with you some of my thoughts about this adventure. First of all, let's talk about the hike today. The hike was about five and a half miles, about 2,000 feet of elevation gain. Very beautiful hike, beautiful blue sky. One of my very favorite things about this trip is the creek. How it goes up against the rocks and makes these big deep pools. And for this little tiny creek to get that deep in spots, it's pretty impressive. The forest is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, I just love these ponderosa pines and the space between them. When you're up high, you can look down and see the shadow that's been cast by the tree onto the white grass. The fishing was gorgeous. The catching for five days of full fishing, not that good. The fact that I caught a three pound brown, that takes away a lot of the sting. And the eating of that fish, the meat was so thick and chunky, it reminded me of eating chunks of salmon. Being the first of spring, there weren't that many flowers, but there were some beautiful tiny little flowers. I really enjoyed those. As far as wildlife's concerned, I didn't see any deer or bighorn sheep or elk. 
but I did see two rattlesnakes. I got a picture of one of them, and the other one was just a about an 18-inch baby one, and it was right on the trail, and I about stepped on it, and it just slithered off underneath a rock. It was on the trail coming up. My companion on this trip, Gracie, I absolutely love having her along, but she's getting so old now that these trips are way too hard for her, so I think this very well may be her last trip. Sorry to say. I want to thank Dalton and Sheldon for coming along on the first couple days. I really enjoyed having them along. And I want to thank you for coming along. So, until next time.